Hey guys, today I'm going to focus on all four of the of the Field Commander series. There's four games, and they all brilliant. You you can play them all solo because they use a uh, quite an easy AI system. So uh, the excellent solo games, all four of them. I'm gonna. Look at each one and show you the maps. So let's start with the first one they did, Field Commander Rommel. Right, I'll take the, the box lid off. This isn't the deluxe edition. They brought uh, another one out that has mounted maps. But the one I have is just the paper maps. So let's have a look. You get the a really simple instruction manual it's um it's not very long very thin so it's easy to read and now let's have a look at the maps with paper maps i use plexiglass and i put it on top of the paper map and it's it feels exactly like a mounted map so it's pretty good Right, the very first one's North Africa 1941. And with this game you have little chits representing the army. And the move along. So it's quite standard. The, the, all the chits, the, the, they have the movement values and everything. So it's pretty standard stuff. But well, this is like the first map. And this one's, uh, a lot of people say it's difficult to, to win the first map. I haven't won any of them yet. So this is a, a really um, an, an interesting one. Hope you can see it ok. Alright, I'll put the, the second map on now. This is the, the second map. I've put an overhead light on to make it a bit brighter. This is 1940 Ghost Division. All maps have the same rules. And as you can see, there's lots of spaces. So they look similar, all the maps, in Field Commander Rommel. So that's the second one that you get. And the third map's uh, Day Deer, 1944. I'll go a bit closer so you can have a good look. This is uh, the third one. And it's a, bit, a little bit bigger. So the, the, um, all the campaigns they have to be completed in a certain amount of turns. You get the sequence of player. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, there's a setup tells you how you set them up. So uh, that's the first game. The series of games picks up with the second game. It's Field Commander Alexander. So it's Alexander the Great. And with this one, from now on, all the maps are mounted. So uh, don't have to bother with plexiglass. With this one you get four mounted maps. The rule book it gets a bit thicker because it's a little bit more complex. It focuses on Alexander his career. He's a uh, sort of like life. These are the counters. The counters are really really nice. Um, you get lots of excellent counters. Hope, hope you can uh, say them all right. But they're, they're nice and thick. Really, really good quality. These are all DVG games, Dan Versing games, and they're excellent. Uh, really well done. So you get the shade campaign that you you note down your victory points and everything. But uh, I'll focus on the maps mostly. As you can see, the, the really colourful maps, all four of the maps are mounted. 
and it looks really impressive there's the campy and turns it, uh, it has all the basic uh, real turns and everything printed on the map so once you read the rules you don't really have to search uh, the rule book so re really good say so it's that the summer the summer of um 331 BC and it finishes somewhere 324 before Christ so that's the first one this is the second one I'll quickly go through the maps because I don't want to have too long a video this one's an interesting one you have to cross over the ocean to get get to this uh, island so lots of lots of good things in, in this one that's map 2 map 3 looks a little bit bigger so campaign setup and everything there's the turns this is more an upright one they're all good great game I like how uh, you, you upgrade Alexander because he gets more powerful and stuff. That's map three, and this is map four. So basically, they look the same. There's slight tweaks in the rails and stuff. So that's that. That's uh, all of the four maps for. Field Commander Alexander Field Commander Napoleon This is the third game This is regarded as the best one And it probably is There's lots of maps in this one So I'll have to quickly go through with them There's seven maps in this game And a battle map And the tokens are amazing Excellent quality really good I separated all the tokens by year in the baggy so 18 15 that one because uh, each map you use different tokens you get a sheet telling you like a period sort of thing and battle turns and everything so you just follow this there's a the real book but the maps are uh, really good and the tokens are excellent there's all the tokens in one bag and you and look at all these i've separated them all in different bags and there's loads of them hundreds this is just the battle map you put your tokens on each uh, lane the enemies come down so i'll show you it when i do a playthrough so that's just the battle map alone there's seven other maps here's uh, the first one we'll look at I don't I'm not sure if they're all in order because uh, there's that many of them so that's one map they look really good don't they all the spaces and stuff you get some really uh, strategy in this game I, I'd class it as the best one Here's a couple more maps, I've just put them uh, one above the other just to give you a rough idea what what it looks like. I'll do a couple more. Here's a couple more. Each map uh, makes the, the game rules different with this game. So there's, there's different styles to each map. So it's really clever. Well, there's two more maps and th these are the other two last two maps what i like about these maps is um they tell you how the ai works so you just follow the instructions on the maps you see each map enemy orders tells you how the enemy will operate so it's not complicated to operate the 
the opponent that you're playing. Great game. Let's have a look at the last one. Fleet Commander Nimitz. This one's getting upgraded. I've, I've already got it ordered. They're doing um, a different sort of rules to it. Different sort of AI. And a few tweaks to the, the map. So this is sort of like the first version. This game looks incredible. This is the map of the, of the ocean. Really good. You also get sort of like a, a battle map. Tells you exactly how you fight and everything. Like you see it's getting redone this game. So this is the first uh, version of it. I think it's going to be similar. But really good. And what I like most of all about this game is the tokens. I've separated them in uh, different years. Just look at the tokens, they're excellent. Battleships. You get like, soldiers and everything, planes. And the move, there's rules where they battle each other. And they move along uh, point to point sort of thing. Well, it, it's an excellent uh, game this one probably my second favourite or if not the my favourite in the series I, I like uh, I like this theatre of uh, warfare excellent so uh, that's all the maps I hope uh, you've enjoyed it and possibly subscribe if you want to see more I'll try and do playthroughs and everything soon. So, okay, bye everyone, bye.